Hi folks, it's Nick back again in the chair as we listen to this rather wonderful tune. Um, we're on the ZX Spectrum, as I say, and this one is called Interalia. It's a sequel to Serious, as some people called it Serious 2, which uh, the original game I really liked. Uh, this one's by Atlantis Software in 1990. It's set a thousand years after the original game, where you brought peace to the people of Serious, but Rogorf now lives, and you must take your Avenger starship and, well, um, fire him to atoms or something. Now I'll be interested to see if this plays similarly to the first game which I really liked and um, uh, already it doesn't. Now this tank thing looks a bit like, um, yeah it moves a little bit like um, uh, Xenon. Um, this is completely different to the first game. What's happening here? Now I have got a cheat if I don't do very well. Oh, I've got off the system. There we go. So you've got complete bits of the map if I don't do very well here, I've got a cheat for infinite energy. I must destroy these things. I must collect um, um, the odd um, item, and then that opens the gate to get out at the end. So as you see, that's blocked. We can't get through there. So we need to collect other stuff, right? Where's the stuff? Here's something over here. I think that's one of them. There's full stores going on. We'd lose energy if we bump into those, I believe, or we could just steam all the way through. Now, Atlantis Software did this before. Um, oh, we're dead. Where they did Super Kid, which is a good game, but then they did Super Kid in space, where the two games weren't related uh, to each other at all. And it feels like they've done something similar here. Why they called it Serious 2 in brackets? Uh, Interalia, and not like the first game. But do look at my review of Xenon, done years and years ago. Um, I think that might have been just on the Amiga, actually. I can't remember. I think it was on the Spectrum as well. Um, this isn't as good as Serious, but it isn't a bad game. Uh, it's just not what I was expecting. Do -do -do. Stage 2, the system. How far can we get on this one? I think I've got put the poke in correctly for infinite energy. I hope I have anyway. So I hope we'll get off a few stages. Now, um, this is interesting, this, but I don't think I would have played it um, a lot. Uh, the game is better than that game we played earlier on, in my opinion, uh, which was Gift from the Gods, which wasn't really a great Gift from the Gods. I hope they kept the receipt. But uh, yeah, this one isn't super brilliant either, but it might be a case you just need lots of practice to um, um, get the fine points of it, because it looks quite nice. Um, right, here we go. There wasn't a serious free. Oh, I've died. The poke didn't work. Let's try and get that on this time. Infinite energy to at least get off level two. That is the aim. Poke, 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 poke. Now, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. I'm not quite sure what other systems it come on. So, into Alia, Serious 2, but nothing like the original Serious, a la, a la, a la uh, Super Kid. Yeah, in space. So, this has gone into space as well. So, it looks like they've got a system of putting stuff in space that isn't uh, like the original game. Weirdness. Weirdness. Right, these enemies keep respawning. Uh, I think our energy is going to stay pretty much in uh, attacked. D D D D D D D D D D D D. So stay on the platform. I don't think you can fall off. It looks a little bit like the Millennium Falcon. This thing. I'm sure that's what they was aiming for. So Millennium Falcon, but not really Millennium Falcon. Da 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 da. Yeah. This game would have confused me back in the day as a kid. Uh, I would have loaded it up every now and again, it, like a weird one, but you know, whenever you set something in space, that always catches a kid's imagination. Right, can we get off this bit? Collect, collect your bits. That's always good advice. Sounds okay on this one. Um, I like the sound effects. I like the music, those words. I like the graphics as well. Uh, gameplay, well, is a little bit suspect, but. Um, uh, it's quite obvious what you need to do, isn't it? It's like a, like a puzzle game where you collect items and then get through the gateway to the next uh, thing. Right, let's go this way. Uh, and it's blocked again. Oh, look at that. What did we do there? I think I released a bomb. Maybe you need to bomb it. Keep shooting. Backward fire, forward fire. I don't know. Right, so we dented it a little bit. We need to collect another bomb, I think. Do we? Who knows? Maybe. Oh, the game is okay without being spectacular, I'd say that. Nice shading. I do like that uh, magenta red sort of like graphics there, that stonework going through. And that, that green fencing is quite nice also. Uh, the ship isn't too bad, but it's just screaming out to be maybe a, a horizontal or a vertical shooter. Oh, I'm through. Right. This looks familiar. Dee 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 dee. 
As a helpful arrow, it's supposed to be telling you where to go. But I think I'm going around as... Oh, I've done it. Good. So went around a big loop. Right, well, now we're in the Outlands. The stages are pretty much different to each other here. Can we destroy that thing? I would have died a million times over by now. But quite clearly, I'm like a newbie. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. And I think that much is obvious. Let's just try and shoot everything and then get off the uh, stage. Well, we got to stage three anyway, so you know, I think you've pretty much seen every, if you wanted to hunt down this game or not. I can see it being quite good fun once you realise uh, what you're doing, so I can't mark it down for that. It's just that I prefer, sorry to keep going on about it, the original Serious was sort of like a, a, a Exelon clone, and it was a pretty good Exelon. I didn't use much of the screen, much less than this, but it worked really well, and uh, I liked the way it played. If I bought this on the basis I was getting another Exelon type clone game, I would have been, well, quite disappointed. Right, here we go. Right, we need to shoot through here, I suppose, again, with that special, like, bomb feature collecting the uh, stuff. Can we shoot through there? No. Oh, look, we've got one bit. Right, we need to get the other. Oh, we've got two bits. We've got three bits. Can we get through there? We got through there. Now what? Now we need to get through here somehow. Doesn't look like, like bits we can take. I, think I might have paused it in error here. Unpause yourself. Um, oh no, what's the pause button? Right, good. It was almost time for the You Don't Know What You're Doing song from earlier on. Right, let's click this thing. Right. How do we get through here? I do not know. These things just keep regenerating. Hmm. I say this game was average. Uh, if you said to someone, what's your favourite top um, 50 Spectrum games of all time, I doubt Interalia will come up. This might be the first time you've ever seen it, in fact, or indeed heard of it. Um, I'd never heard of Serious, which is a bit of a shame, because I would have played that quite a lot back in the day. I wouldn't have played this one so much. But uh, there's so many games now. Um, when I uh, look around for games to review, the, the amount that come up um, that I've already reviewed are really in the minority compared to the ones that are still out there. I mean, there's don't get me wrong, there's heaps and heaps and heaps of awful games out there, which I, I still haven't done, which don't get um, very good ratings at all. Um, this one is much better than, than that. You can tell it's um, in programmer, someone who knows what they're doing at least. It's got a premise of gameplay uh, there. Uh, the flip screen works quite well and it's detailed screening you can tell they've done shadowing too so an accomplished graphic artist has had a go at this and it's quite clever uh, the way they mixed it together and blended it uh, colour clash is only when the ship goes over certain bits but you won't get that at all on the uh, border it fits together really really nicely and they've done well uh, from that point of view so a really nice looking game although not one I would have uh, played a lot if I've destroyed a bit of the scenery there destroy everything and unlock the gate to get out and that's pretty much all you can do. As you can tell at the moment I've got to the limits of my skills and I'm pretty lost what to do so um, it was at this point where I'd be needed a magazine for a few tips to say look Nick do stuff or shot something else there. So it's key bits of the scenery you have to knock out uh, and then it's on to the next day. So if you'd seen this in a magazine, would you have bought it? Let me know. Um, or would you just said, nah, it looks too generic to me. I'm off to do something else. So this is like a ship stroke tank, isn't it, going around the place? Uh, so there's two jet boosters at the back, which don't seem to be firing any kind of afterburner. Um, you would have thought, wouldn't you, that firing a torpedo or a laser gun against uh, a grass hedge would obliterate it, but not so. Uh, the hedges here are made of sterner stuff, and you could sit there launching missiles at it all day, or nuclear missiles, and they'd still stand still. Where is this place? It's a strange, it's a strange area, isn't it, Serious? Well, people, they got rescued first of all, uh, and then... Um, a thousand years passed and Rogorf come back. He sounds like half of a curry, uh, Rogorf, Josh. Uh, and uh, there, he's attacking them again. I don't know what he's got against this planet. Why don't he pick on someone uh, else? Well, anyway, perhaps he likes those hedges. Perhaps that's a, that's a big thing that he's really into. I don't think I can add too much more to this, really. Nice dots on the floor. 
Um, um, they could have just made it yellow, but it would have made it a little bit bright. So it, you know, it's made it a little bit easier on the eyes there. But this is 8-bit territory, 1990, so nearing the end of the ZX Spectrum's run. Uh, the 16-bit computers were um, starting to become prevalent then. So you're looking at the Commodore Amiga, uh, Atari ST, and such. But um, yes, I don't think there'll be much room uh, for this one. I would have liked it as a cover disc, but it but it wasn't, I don't think. It was actual a commercial uh, release. Atlantis Software, we've covered a few games by them now. I think my favourite one so far is um, Super Kid in Space, so check out that review if you haven't already. And my least favourite one, well, what we've done recently at least, is a Submariner. Don't know what was going on there. That was been done with a, a 3D construction kit, and that's pretty much all there was to it. There's quite a few games that are made with that 3D construction kit, but I don't want to review all of them because they, uh, they are pretty similar. Yeah, I don't think I can stand much more of this, so I think it's time uh, to get out of here. You don't want to watch me wandering around the whole place. So, yep, I hope you liked having a look at that one that was uh, Interalia, or Serious 2, on the ZX Spectrum, published by Atlantis Software in 1990. If you any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. That'll be uh, great if you could do. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.